Deploying PFSense on physical appliance offers several advantages, including improved performance, reliability, and scalability. So let's dive into the installation of PFSense on the physical hardware. So there are various options depending upon your size of network. If you are using for the home lab, small office, large office, if you are using for enterprise, different hardware options are there. You can go for the uh, hardware which is provided by the NetGate or you can have your own hardware. I'll be using mini PC for this purpose of installation. So I have a mini PC by B-Link. There are two network ports available into this. You can go with the Zima port. Zima board also has two ports of the network. One can be used for LAN, another can be used for WAN. Of course, choice is yours. So in order to install, of course, you will need to download the PFSense. Let me show you step by step how to download, how to create bootable media. And then I'll show you how to install PFSense. I'm on main website of PFSense and here you can click on download and in download you will see multiple architectures available so i'll click on amd 64 bit as we are not using netgate device so we'll not be going for that so i'll be creating amd 64 bit installer you have two options available here i'll be using dvd image in fact and i'll click on download latest version 2.7.2 will be downloaded here so we'll wait for this download to complete till the time it downloads i'll show you how you can start creating bootable flash media i'll be using balina etcher for this you can of course download balina etcher flash iso image to sd card or usb drive and here you can see download etcher so the moment you click on download etcher there are various options available you can download the installer or you can download the portable choice is yours installer will be installed in your operating system once you download you will be running step by step wizard so you will be landing over here so i'll be flashing this from file to create the bootable usb so i'll be going here to pfsense 2.7.2 and this is the ISO image. Then I'll be selecting the target. And in order to select the target, of course, I need to add the uh, USB flash disk over here. And here is USB flash disk. I'll select this and generic flash disk and flash. It will write the disk. We'll wait for this to complete. The flash is completed now. You will simply uh, remove this disk. I will be simply now removing this disk from here. And, and this is the disk. This is the USB flash disk. I'll be now inserting this USB flash disk into the hardware and we will set up and we'll keep on pressing F9. I'll now boot from the USB flash media. And here I'll be installing PFSense on my hardware. It looks everything is fine. It will load from the usb bootable flash media you can see here it is loading from usb 0 we need to now run the pfsense installer same as we have done for the virtualization platform so i'll be doing the same thing here i'll simply press enter install pfsense i'll use again the auto zfs partition simply install i won't do anything here stripe no redundancy it is fine and here i'll be choosing the disk it says that all the data on the disk will be deleted. I agree to it. Now, uh, base operating system will be installed. All right, so it is rebooting now. So I'll be just uh, removing the uh, USB flash disk from here. USB flash disk is removed now. Now I'll be waiting for uh, BFSense to boot again. Uh, now I have two network interface cards. Realtek and Intel, these are two network interface cards. We'll be configuring manually. One will be used as a WAN, another will be used as LAN. And here you can see 192.168.240.147 as a WAN interface, but I'm not going to use it because there is another PFSense which is already running on the network. And I'll show you how we can set up the WAN interface and LAN interface using the command line interface. Let us continue to the next video and understand how we can configure PFSense in production environment.